sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then crust out your eyes. And when you're done eating, you can put him in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Cho is here. That's from I'm the One That I Want, uh, your one woman show. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, wow. So old. That's an old one. Yeah, I know. That's back in the mid '90s. But I mean, really, like, yeah, yeah wow. Well, <laughs> I keep think I could have. We could have brought something a little, you know, a little sooner. No, I love it. I love it. You know, it's 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 really nice to hear. It's like weird because I think my voice has changed uh-huh. since I've been, you know, smoked so much since then. Okay, what well, the things <laughs> like what? What are you smoking? Um, uh, some cigars, maybe. Cigars. Some Newports what? and some. Uh, I am kind of like you know I'm I'm really not very monogamous with my smoking material, oh, so I will okay. kind of smoke whatever's in front of me. Okay, and you know I was watching you on uh, Byron Allen's. Um, oh, comics, comics unleashed. And <laughs> you're not monogamous at all, according no. to what you, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, well, sexually, I'm not monogamous. Well, I think it, that would be weird to have to do it with one person for your whole life. Yeah. You think so? That's nasty. Yeah, right. D- d- doing it with one. person. <laughs> Person is nasty. You just, when you when you just have to, because how many times can you make change it up? You know how yeah. many variations can you know? Yeah, I just I got I got some holes. Okay, you got holes. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Yo, that's I all like, I got. You got holes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and I remember you were talking about being bisexual. Yes, I am. Are you still? I am. Well, I I go through phases. <laughs> you know who I used to go out with actually from KML was Paige Hodel. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, she was my <laughs> very first uh, true love. And that was, um, gosh, that was in the 80s. And wow. But now, you know, I, I'm kind of, I don't know. I There's a side of me that likes dick. Okay, yeah. The inside. Okay. You know. <laughs> and, <laughs> So I like I like, I like Margaret. Me I too. told you I like I love her. You. I told you. <laughs> Tracy, you know, because Tracy's bisexual, openly this bisexual. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's God. wonderful. Yeah, Margaret just said she's from the Bay. Watch her pimp tongue. Um, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Yo, that was a kind of double entendre right there. Yeah, right? Really you, it was. You, yeah, you can take that, Margaret. Yeah. Um, so you say right now you're strictly dickly. Um, so it goes, <laughs> bisexuality moves in phases, like ladies. Uh, I think so. Do you think that you do you more attracted to men or women or where where do you or what's percentage wise? Like on the Kinsey scale? Yeah. Um <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that right now only because of the environment that I'm in that I'm attracted mm-hmm. more to men because yeah. I don't go out to lesbian bars and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So if it was equal parts a hang out with heterosexuals and equal parts a hang out with lesbian, then it would be right in the center. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. You know, it's like for me I feel like right in the center, right in the middle and and it's a comfortable place. But mm-hmm. some, but then you know, you tend you tend to fall in love with people and so but right now I'm much more geared towards dick. But if you have a boyfriend, okay, are you cool with sharing the dick with another chick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, I get sick of it, too. Oh, you know, okay. I'm like, oh, you do it. Part-time dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm going to take a break. You do. I'm going to take a knee. You go ahead. <laughs> wow. I couldn't even imagine. I, I know you dated Quentin, right? We had Quentin oh, Tarantino. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love him. Uh, what, 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 he seems... Like nothing's normal about him behind closed doors. You know, he is such a great guy. We both fell in love with movies, and when we were hanging out, he had just bought the entire um, uh, all of uh, video archives, which is the video store he worked at. So we had uh-huh. eight thousand movies to watch. So that was really a connection there. He's so he's so about film and so about just hanging out, and you know, he really is quite a normal sweetheart. Is he really? Does he was he creative? I mean, it seemed like your sexual uh, palette. <laughs> requires a lot of diversity. Right. Yes. It does. Well, he, I mean, he was just a really awesome boyfriend, really beautiful guy. But, you know, that the, there have been some freaks. Okay. And I have, I have I've witnessed <laughs> some freakiness. But, um, you know, even though I have diverse tastes, it kind of comes down to I just like it kind of normal in a way. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that was anticlimactic for me. I right know. Now. I was, <laughs> sorry. I was looking for that was going to be the, you know, I was going to be the one to bring the interview over the top. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Margaret Cho is here. Yeah. Um, we got Yay. a new season of Drop Dead Diva. Uh, season 6 pr- premieres March <clears throat> 23rd at 9 p.m. Uh, we're going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. Margaret Cho is here. <laughs> Was that a read? <laughs> oh, I got red. Man. I got red. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so Lifetimes, they have this hit series called Drop Dead Diva. Mm-hmm. Season 6 premieres on the 23rd. Yes. Uh, this is season 6. I know. 
I'm so grateful because, you know, just for an Asian woman in, in Hollywood that I have a job at all is amazing. You know, I should be cleaning a fish. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I mean, I come from like a fish cleaning family. No, so really? this is a really good thing that I got a TV job. Oh, good, right? <laughs> yeah. You, you you talk about your family a lot. Mm-hmm. And, and, and one of the things that I think everybody loves is when you impersonate your mom. Oh, yes. She's great. She's very she's very up on like pop culture. She was talking about Miley Cyrus twerking. Did she? Yeah, and she said, Oh, she shake out all of her luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's like so Korean. <laughs> she, she shake out She's shaking out all of her luck. Wow. That you can shake out your luck. You can shake it out. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. It's very all Korean. right, I'm gonna keep it real with you, Margaret. Yes. We've never really had, or at least not often, mm-hmm. is it that we have someone of Asian descent? sitting Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to see, because there's a lot of myths that could be dispelled or some stereotypes that maybe could be confirmed or, you know, yes, pass it aside. Can I just shoot some over to you? Yeah, please, please. All right. My vagina is slanted. Wow. It is. Truly. Wow. So I'm jealous. I know. It's is there a procedure? It just kind of goes to the side a little okay. bit. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, speaking about vagina, then okay. you have to bring up penises. Yes, yes. So is the Asian male penis really bite size? I think it's pretty big. I mean, for me, it's pretty big, mm-hmm. I think. Um, I feel like uh, it all depends, you know. Um, uh, generally, Filipino guys... Uh, that I've been with have the biggest ones. I, I mean, I, but uh, they're all, they can really surprise you. Noted. Yes. Filipino. You got that, Heather? Yes. Oh, got that, Heather? All right. Oh, Are wow. all Asian <laughs> folks highly intelligent at mathematics? Um, every one of them is except me. Oh. Except I do, I can count money. Okay. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's enough. Good. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's most important. Good you don't know what yeah. the Pythagorean theorem is? <laughs> no, I have no idea. A squared <laughs> plus B squared equals... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, damn. That just ruined it for me. I know. Wow. Pi? Is that pi? Like, no, no. No, that's not pi. <laughs> I don't know. 4. I'm trying to spell and shit. <laughs> so right. Yeah, you're supposed to be smart, though. I know. I'm supposed to Asian be. Asian woman? I'm really not. All right. This is a two-part one. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that Asian women are the most submissive mm-hmm. out of all different um, races. Well, I am, I am a bottom, but mostly because I'm lazy. Uh, you know, I just kind of want to lay there because <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. I just can't. I'm like, I tried to be a dominatrix once and I was so bad, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I won't make anybody do anything. I'm like, oh, go ahead if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes that dominatrix like that. She got you. <laughs> and then I always see white guys dating Asian women. Yo, what is that what's, about? Yeah, what's that? Like, what, I see a lot of that, too. Asian women, when they start to succeed, you know, they say that about black men, that once they make money and become successful, they Y'all go, go to white. Yeah, they go white, girl. But mm-hmm. Asian women, the most of the ones I've known that have been extremely successful, always yeah. date Caucasian men. Hmm. I think it's, well, for me, like, I date all different kinds of people, so I haven't really thought about it. But, yeah, I think, you know, if you look at, like, uh, I, I, I think, look at money. Like, we just go for the money. We just want, <laughs> you know, we want wow. the alimony, so. Damn, that is so gangster. <laughs> Margaret Cho is here, man. I like Margaret. For, forgive our ignorance. <laughs> I love you. Hey, listen, if you're Asian and you want to talk to Margaret, 888-742-3345. Joe is on the line. Joe, what's up? What Good up, morning. Joe? Joe, big Joe. Hey, how Joe. you doing? How you doing? Doing all right, man. Yo, I just want to put my dick up in that woman's pussy right now. Oh, that's, my- that's sweet. <laughs> Thanks. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make a couple little babies with you. Stretch that pussy right out. Well. Wow. That's and a- now, what about my asshole? My hey, asshole I'm feels gonna- left out now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take care of that, too, at the end. I'll use a stick of butter on that. Oh, a, a whole stick. <laughs> <laughs> a stick of butter. I Joe. can't believe it's not lube. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, we got Mike on the line. From- <laughs> Where is this going? Mike, from- Mike is up, on the line. Bro? What up, Big Mike? Give it up to Mike. Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. How you doing, brother? Hey, ladies, how you doing? Say hello to Margaret Cho. Hello. How you doing, Margaret? I'm great. Thank you. You guys are talking about why white women date Asian women. Honestly, for me, they're the most loyal, loyal women on the planet. Asian women? You will not find an Asian woman to go behind your back. Yeah, but, you know, like, the thing about it is that um, we we seem like we're loyal, but really we're just sneaky. Wow. You know? <laughs> we're just, is that what it is? Uh, uh, we're just sneaky. Like that, yeah. Wow. It's like, we're just trying to get that citizenship. There oh. it is. <laughs> 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 All right, we can, is that a read? Hold up, we, we have a fellow Asian woman on the line. Ooh, good. Kim, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning, how are you? You're doing okay. Now, what ethnicity are you? I'm half 
Korean and half black. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 언니. 언니, 네. 언니 불러주세요, 네. <laughs> what the hell? What is this happening? I just asked her. She, she, she called me um, big sister, and I asked her to call me big sister. It's wow. a nice, affectionate thing. Oh, so. that's great. Okay. Yeah, All sweet. Right. Kim, um, are you easy? Am I easy? Yeah. I guess it depends on who you ask. Damn. Mm. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, I think with Asian women, like, we're just selective. And, you know, if we want somebody, we are easy for them, but not anybody. So I guess it's not really easy. Not e- Okay. It's just selective. You know, you have to be fine. You know, Kim, you yeah, said. Yeah, absolutely agree. Fine yeah. and have money. Yeah, exactly. Damn. That's Very just important. The, that's the model. Um, you say mm. you like Margaret because she isn't a normal Korean. What does that mean? What is a normal Korean and what is Margaret? You know, Koreans are so conservative and it's such a homogeneous society that right. if you don't fit in, you are like totally um, wangta, the outcast. Mm-hmm. And it's so nice because I was raised, even though I'm half black, half Korean, I was raised by two Korean parents. Mm-hmm. So I was the literal black sheep. So being able to see Margaret, who has tattoos, speaks her mind, is totally open. Um, that's not the norm of Korean. And it's like, oh, well, thank man, you. it's okay to be like that. So I really appreciate you well, I love that. you. But you know, in the way that I am really Korean is my house smells... <laughs> I have the oh. most stinky kimchi smelling house. Oh, kimchi! So <laughs> that's that's really where I my Korean is. Wow, but. you know Kim. Um, Kim, are you uh, near? Uh, can you email from your phone? Yes, I can. Okay, uh, Najee here, our videographer, uh, asked if you could email us a picture of you so you can show we can show it to Margaret at, okay. s- at sway in the morning at gmail dot com. All right. Good morning at gmail.com. Okay, cool. Um, up next, we're going to take more of your calls. We're going to have Margaret Cho stick her hand in my sack. Yeah. Sway in the morning. Shake for five uh, This is our homie. Yep. Yes. Drop, I love you. D- drop Dead Diva. Yes. Uh, she plays Terry Lee mm-hmm. in this episode. Um, you, you're, um, you're a legal assistant, right? Yes, yes. And, um, and for Jane. For Jane. And... Um, and so this is the last season. Mm-hmm. What can, what's going to happen? Well, uh, my character gets into some some trouble. See, I'm like I'm like the character. I usually you know I've been an actor for a long time, but I don't really ever do that big of stuff. Usually, I'm the person who hands a white person a file and, and go, "You ain't going like this." <laughs> you know, there's always that person of color character on yeah. every legal show that does that. So that's what I've been doing for like a quarter of a century. So this is <laughs> this is so a fun true. thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, it's a fun it's a really fun show, but we. We, we we also go into really kind of deep topics and and um, but my character gets crazy this year so it's fun it's our last I think it's our last year it's the last year right yeah I think okay. so then, then what happens for Margaret Cho what well you- I have another job I work on um, a show uh, executive produced by Tina Fey oh. written by Matt Hubbard who is a wonderful writer from Thirty Rock uh-huh. and it's a show called Cabot College and I just shot the pilot last week and so that'll be for Fox next fall. So it's great. Tina Fey? Yeah, she's great. You're winning. I yep. love her. Wow, well, you're going to get a check for a while Eagles now. Equals dough. There it is. <laughs> she's my hero. Isn't she? She's, uh, she's, she's beautiful and brilliant. so funny. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, we have, Re- is it Risa? Is it Lisa? Risa? Nisa? Risa? Mishka. 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 Wait, wait, spell it. Pretty. Spell it. Spell it. Mishka. M-M-I-S-H-K-A. The Pretty. last time, The last time I called up, Forty-five. You guys were like, "What's your name?" I can't understand. Yeah, yes, it's Whoa. Mishka. Hey, at least, hey, at least we're consistent. All right, Mishka, say hello to Margaret Cho. <laughs> hey, Margaret. Hi, doing? Mishka. I'm great. You have a pretty name. Thank you. Um, I just want to thank you for being real as fuck. And oh, thank you. Getting on your grind and just being real and saying real shit about society. You've done a lot for. All different communities oh, in this thank world. You. So yeah. thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Hey, hey Mishka, what's your background? Um, I am from New York. I sounds, what, what, sounds what a you, little, you want to know? It sounds yeah. like a Is Russian, black or Russian white? name. Are you Russian? Am I black or white? Well, that's more than that. I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are you Russian? Russian. Russian. I'm Italian. Yeah. And I'm Irish. And Irish. New Everything York. good. That's a great combination. I love I love a I love a river dance bitch. You know what I mean? A hot, <laughs> hot river dance bitch. You gotta lift them knees. You know, um, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Cho is here. Let me ask you, you know, Dennis Robin. He went to North Korea. Yeah. 
I, I want to go with him. You, you can't even get in North Korea, I right? I can't get in there. I want to go. Yeah. I really want to go. Because I, I, well, I um, was, uh, when I was on 30 Rock, I, I played Kim Jong-il. Yeah. So I, I look just like him. So much <laughs> like him. And also Psy. Uh -huh. I look just like Psy. Psy. So I could <laughs> go. Gangnam <laughs> style? <laughs> yeah, I'm very Gangnam style. Okay. I Don't. really do look just like him. So I, I think they won't allow me in the country because I, I made fun of their country. Oh. So. Oh, I don't think I, I mean, I think if I win, I would get shot. That was in, that was slightly. Uh, we don't want you to get shot. No, um, no. And you're dead ass serious, by the way. Yeah. Um, that was embarrassing for Americans. I I don't I don't think so. I think Dennis Rodman is a fine ambassador because it's just it's a great different cultural representative. Uh -huh. And he is he's American and he's very I mean, he's like he's a hero there because they love this this basketball stuff and they they love his tattoos. He's very exotic. Uh -huh. So it's great. I think he's a great ambassador. That, that makes him a hero cuz he has tattoos. I think he's cool. <laughs> okay, all right. And he's also got he's he's <laughs> flawed and, and and very human and you know, he you you see him go through all sorts of things. I have a lot of affection for him. How much you think they paid him to go over there? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I I would go for free. <laughs> I would pay to go. You would? Yes. Mm -hmm. But then I, I'm scared. Because you might get shot. Yeah, and then I, Bill Clinton <laughs> would have to come over and get me. Right? Or Reverend Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Somebody, yes. All right. I would need help. Uh, Margaret Shaw, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you stick your hands in my sack? Yeah. Oh. Uh, by the way, the caller, what was her name? Kim. She was, she's yo, yo, beautiful. Yo, she, geez, she sent the picture. She's absolutely stunning. She's she really is. gorgeous. Wow. She's really gorgeous. All right, Okay, Najee. Margaret, here's the rules, though. Uh, you have to stick your hand in sway sack, pull out one question at a time. You have to answer honestly and okay. read it aloud. Okay. Let me open. Okay. Um, if you could give your sexual organs a distinct flavor, what would you pick and why? I think I would like a little bit of Tabasco. Tabasco? Because <laughs> um, it's got some vinegar quality. Okay, oh, all right. It goes with everything. Okay. So. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Second one. <laughs> and it makes your mouth water. Okay. So of all, out of all the experimenting you've done in the bedroom, which experiment did you enjoy the most? Um... Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't really do so much experimenting as I put into practice. Okay. So um, <laughs> I think I, I just, you know what? I really, I, I'm more just about affection. I like cuddling yeah. and a little bit of bondage. <laughs> just oh. a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. Last okay. But I don't want to have to do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, when was the last time someone was truly pissed off with you? Um, oh, uh, do, you, you mean well, the last time somebody pissed on me? Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> well, uh, he peed on my head, and it was really warm, and then it got cold really fast. Yeah. And then a little bit got in my mouth, and it tasted like soy sauce, like Kiko Man soy sauce. Wow, Kiko Man. That's a... <laughs> like too much sodium. I was like, can I have the kind with the green top? <laughs> it's too salty. Margaret Cho, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo. Yo, thank you for coming by this thank morning. You. Did I tell you I love this woman? I uh, love you. Yeah, wow. how, can, how can people reach you uh, on social media? I am at Margaret Cho on on Twitter and on Facebook, and I'm out there. I'm everywhere. Okay, next Margaret time. Come, come back. When you come back to New York, come see us, okay? I would love to. Thank you. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shea 45.